What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Just a couple of minutes ago, Riot has released the official patch notes for patch 10.13 on Twitter. In this video today, we're going to be running through all the official changes that are going to be headed to the game about a week from today. It should be around June 23rd that patch 10.13 will be coming out before we get in this one i just want to mention real quick if you're not already subscribed definitely click that subscribe button real quick helps me out a ton and helps you guys stay updated on the latest content so it works out for both of us also if you're interested there is a link for robin hood in the description below where you can receive a free stock just by signing up you don't even have to put any money on so if that sounds interesting definitely check that out With that being said here we go getting right into the 10.13 patch notes for league of legends the official notes uh, running through all the change and stuff. So first up, we have a Conqueror nerf. It's max stacks going from 10 to 12, and it's adaptive per stack is going from 2 to 5 to 1.7 to 4.2. So this means that when you have it fully stacked up, you're pretty much not going to be losing any damage, but it's just going to take longer to stack up, and you're going to need to get more stacks to get that full damage out of it. So it will be a Conqueror nerf, which was definitely needed because Conqueror has been busted for a while now. It's been good on so many different champions, so many different t champion types and classes and everything. And it's just been uh, just omnipresent on the champions that's good on you have to take it and then even on some champions that it maybe shouldn't even be good on they're starting to take it uh it's been so dominant throughout a lot of season 9 and 10 i think it needed a nerf and i wouldn't even complain if it got more nerfs than just this death dance getting a range nerf stored damage from range going from 20 percent to 10 percent that's actually a pretty significant uh decrease on the stored damage for range champions so we'll see how good that stays on some eighty carries on champions like graves some different stuff like that um but yeah death dance also been very very strong especially in pro play and higher elo so i think a nerf there was warranted guardian getting a nerf it's shield base going from 80 to 200 to 70 to 150 still going to be good in the early game and lane phase and stuff but not going to be so good in the late game um which i think is a fine change as well because when i do think about guardian i think it is mostly for that early game lane phase stuff like that we have the champion nerf coming next again first up a very very needed nerf to yumi which i'm very very excited about e mana cost going from 100 to 160 to 40 to 60 plus 15 percent of yumi's max mana that is actually going to cost a ton of mana 15 percent of her max mana she's not just going to be able to jump fly around from champion to champion ian all around uh, especially once she gets a ton of cdr and stuff so that's actually a pretty big change and hopefully i mean that's going to decrease her win rate a lot hopefully it will make her a little more balanced feel a little bit better to play against without completely gutting her but even if she does get completely gutted by this change i don't think it'll be too bad for the game because i think she is very very problematic as a champion for many reasons in both solo queue and in competitive play uh even as like a viewer for the viewing experience of like competitive games cinder getting a q mana cost increase in the early game that'll make her not so much a lane bully in the early game obviously if she can't spam out q as brainlessly orn getting a brittle damage going from 10 to 18 percent max hp to 12 percent at all ranks uh, obviously it'll make him a little bit stronger in the early game with early points in his W and R and stuff, but it won't make him such a, have that assassin feeling in late game. So I think that is a good change because I think he should be more of a tank rather than just one shotting people in the late game. Like he can sometimes do with 18% max HP damage on brittle, uh, Cassiopeia Ganger base MR lowered by two. This change is kind of getting memed a lot right now because only losing two MR, uh, it doesn't seem like much and I agree. It doesn't seem like much, but we're going to see what that does for her in the mid lane. It'll obviously make her weaker against mages and uh magic damage in the early game but i don't know just how much 2 mr really affects a champion it doesn't seem like much but maybe i'll be surprised ophelios getting an ad per level decrease down to two it doesn't say what number it's going from uh crescendum attacks on epic monsters no longer refresh the chakram duration i think that's a nice change and his r crit bonus is going from 50 to 20 percent calista getting her ad per level uh from four down to three and a half doesn't seem like a huge change obviously he's going to lose some ad uh, you think you level up 17 times going to 18, uh, 17 times three and a half, you know, you can do that math. You're not losing a ton of AD, but potentially when you get to level 18, it could be meaningful. Um, but obviously, um, with each level only losing half an AD, it shouldn't be too big of a deal or it shouldn't be too noticeable. At least maybe it will be a big deal in terms of win rate and stuff. Nocturne Jungle getting into the buff section. Passive attacks on monsters also give double cooldown reduction, just like attacks on champions. That'll be a nice quality of life change. Yorick, this is so important. Passive or his R leash range going from 900 to 700. She follows you if you leave this range. That is going to help your up time on your ultimate so much. Your ultimate's going to stay alive so much more often rather than inting into a tower or into a terrible fight or something. This will actually be a very, very nice change for Yorick. Even if it doesn't necessarily make his win rate jump up a bunch, it'll make him feel so much better to play. 
uh, rise base MR going up two, so it's kind of the inverse of that Cassiopeia change. We can decide how big that is, and then getting a base AD increase of two as well. Again, don't seem like huge buffs, but put those both together could m potentially be something meaningful. Uh, Nar getting his E attack speed uh, from 20 to 60 to 40 to 60, getting a little bit of an extra attack speed in the early game, going to help him lane bully and stuff like that, which will be pretty nice for Nar. But I don't think that's going to make him meta or anything all of a sudden. Vi getting her Q cooldown going from 12 to 8 to 12 to 6. Uh, buffing her Q later on in the game, I don't think that'll be as big of a deal. If you increase it in the early game, could obviously help her ganking and pathing a lot. But just bumping up late game when she already has like CDR and stuff and cooldowns already lowered. That doesn't seem too, too massive to me. Uh, Lucian getting his Q laser damage range from 900 to 1,000. That does seem pretty significant to me. It's going to help him out a lot uh, in volleying, but also in the solo lanes against melees, being able to poke him out from farther. That seems like a nice change for solo lane Lucian. Uh, Rakan getting R damage from 70 to 270 to 70 to 290. That's like nothing. I uh, don't even know why they would make that change. That seems really stupid to me. Uh, finally, going to the other section, the last section of these 10.13 patch notes. Uh, they have champ select reporting and muting. A lot of people are excited about that. I think it'll be a nice, nice quality of life change for the ranked experience. But just, I guess all cues experience and then finally some ap off builds which i'm excited to make videos about because i think these would be really fun to play i think kogma ap kogma mid is actually gonna be really really good because now he's q ap ratio going from 0.5 to 0.7 and r ap ratio going from 0.25 to 0.35 i think kogma mid lane was already a fringe meta pick and now i think ap kogma mid is going to be very very playable in solo queue and, per and perhaps even professional play and then i think this one's more of a meme nunu getting his q ap damage ratio from 0.5 to 0.65 ap healing ratio from 0.7 to 1.0 and this new r shield ap ratio 1.5 that's gonna be very very interesting for nunu um but i don't think ap nunu is gonna be like this meta pick pick all of a sudden but i think ap kogma mid could start to see some play pretty much it for this video today guys those were the official patch 10.13 changes coming to league of legends again in about a week drop a like if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below what change are you most excited for what change do you love what change do you hate i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts subscribe to the animal latest content check out robin hood link in the description below hopefully i catch you guys in the next one but until then peace